Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is renovating time. We are going to build into Mia's house so that her parents actually have a bedroom, a place that they can call their own, their own little special room, because all of these Lego Friends houses have got a room for the girls. Look, I mean, Mia's got the cutest little loft bed up here, but there's nowhere for the parents to sleep, which is just bizarre because they're included in the set. But <laughs> Now this little piece here comes up so that you can actually get your fingers into the kitchen, but this set isn't modular like the other houses were, so that creates its own challenges. I actually thought about maybe taking the roof off, like these big pointy peaky roofs, to make another level up here, but it just wasn't very it didn't it was not a good idea so i've decided to do something else so let's get Anne and angus down here they are understandably so excited about getting their own bedroom we're going to build it on this base plate because it's just the perfect size for what i have planned first up we are going to need some walls i know walls are not very interesting but they're really important if you don't want to fall out so walls are well we're going to put them on we're going to have a hinge over here because this is how we're going to attach it to the house you might already have a bit of an idea of how we're going to go about this and we're making some more boring boring but very important walls lots of tan so that it ties in with the other colors in the existing house that doesn't look too weird now i have to use this window kind of goes the best out of the window choices I have because I don't have any more windows in this color because they're this is the first time I've ever seen these windows in this color and I don't have any more and I have to use pieces that I have already uh, so uh, I just had to be creative so this is a window that I don't think looks too out of place it doesn't perfectly match but it will have to do and these little inward facing studs they've got a purpose too obviously we're gonna hang something from them we're gonna put something on them got another couple of little inward facing studs over here got a plan for them too otherwise they wouldn't be there at all and let's build the rest of the wall up in tan 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 and then we will put if we put these on and we actually make sure that they go over the little cracks of the bricks from below this will actually be quite a nice secure wall so let's uh, check that for stability yes that is nice and firm it is exactly what we want we're going to smooth over the top here with these brown pieces which also match in with the rest of the house and we have a nice boring wall but it's not going to be boring for long and here come Anne and Angus into their empty room which we are about to furnish actually we're not quite ready to furnish it over here on this wall which is going to be behind the bed because I don't have the right sort of windows, I thought that I might make a stained glass window. So a little stained glass pattern, and we're gonna use orange so that it ties in with some of the other little accent colors from the rest of the house. So we've got a stained glass window, and I didn't have another single one there, so I had to use three little single flat pieces. And I might put a flower here on the end just to tie that off. Hold on, that flower doesn't sit flush there properly. We, well, let me, let me just put these on nice and securely over here. There we go. Now let's find a smaller flower so that it sits nicely next to our little stained glass window. Okay, looking good. Now Anne, Mia's mum, was included in the set with a camera. So I've decided she is a landscaper and nature photographer and she's been taking pictures of all sorts of things. Here's this cute little cardinal that she took a picture of. It was just sitting right on the landing, right on the balcony. And here's a nice shot of the forest that is right on their back doorstep. She's got lots and lots of landscape pictures. They look fantastic as prints. They're going to be all over the walls here in Mia's house. Plus I'm sure she sells them. This is her job. This is what I reckon her job is. So lots of landscape and nature pictures. Over here, we're going to leave this as a half wall so that we can have nice easy access to the room from the side. And Mia's dad, Angus, is out roaming his park ranger. So he collects bugs. Let's put, uh, let's put the lid on that bug jar so that the bugs don't go everywhere. You don't want the bugs in the bed, even though we haven't built it yet. And down here, I'm going to put uh, a camera so that Anne has always got access to a camera, just in case she sees something she's just got to snap a picture of. She don't want to miss that opportunity. Okay, bedtime. <laughs> Not bedtime, don't go to bed. It's actually time to build a bed. We're going to put everybody else in here. We're going to make a kind of a rustic bed. We're going to make it out of a dark wood and we're going to add some pops of color to it. So it's going to be 
kind of a mishmash of color as well because I kind of think that this is like an eco living living off the land idea for this house it really needs solar panels I think for the house not for the bed you don't need solar panels on the bed that's ridiculous on a bed you need a quilt and this is an heirloom generational quilt that was made by Mia's mum's grandmother and it was made with love and it is well worn but so well loved now let me see whether this fits in the it does it fits perfectly in there just take some of my finger smushes off some of that stained glass and we're going to make this now a four poster bed a nice old-fashioned quite heavy dark wood four poster bed I think it fits in really really well with the with the rustic-y old wood theme so we've got these nice big dark wood beams for it we put some bit of pink on the top and yeah okay so now we need the little curtainy things and I totally stole this idea from Emma's bedroom build you know like the little one and it was so cute, it was so, so cute. But I had to find all these little rounded pieces that have the upward facing studs. And I could only find enough pieces in pink or in that minty aquary color that comes in Emma's stuff. And that doesn't work at all. So nice dark pink we've got now for the little curtain loopy things that are going at the top of the four poster bed. So those are for the long sides. And we are going to, going to just make sure that that fits that I've actually judged this correctly and we'll make sure it all goes around in a nice little topper for the top of the four poster bed. Bed? Bed. Bed. Yeah, of the four poster bed. That's cute. <laughs> That's really cute. So this will be the other side. So the long side. And how am I going to connect this? I've got no more of those little corner pieces. In, in that dark brown so if I put these on here will that work let me think so that's the side pieces we need to connect it up now along the short ends and I'm going to so we make these a little bit shorter the curtainy thing is a little bit shorter and yep that will do now how are we going to attach this let's see will that fit uh, I don't know I just don't I just don't know I need I need another one of those little corner brown flat pieces like I put on this other side if I move this one from here and put it over where I put just the tour let's uh put that there and this here and that looks like it will work now we put the little two piece there <laughs> It just keeps falling apart, but won't fall apart when we put our smoothed over bits on the top. We'll just check it does all fit. It fits so perfectly. We're going to line it with purple on the top to just match that little stripe of the bedspread down below. And over here, oh, hold on. I don't have enough pink pieces to put some more curtainy loops underneath, but I do need another brown piece to go under here. Nice. All right, so we'll put that bit that has no curtains flush up against where the stained glass window is and that way it won't matter because we really just want to show off the stained glass window that looks so cute let me see if i can put the bed in yeah, the bed fits in so nicely oh it's all looking so good now okay what else does this room need it just needs a bed according to Anne. she is so plum tuckered out from not having had a bedroom for all these months <laughs> okay what else do we need? We need a blanket box and the top of the blanket box has got some little cushions on there, a bit of a uh, bit of repurposed wood for the top of it. And that's where they can store their blankets when they're not using them. You can also use that as a very convenient seat on the end of the bed. Looks so cute, so useful. Now, Angus has got all of his work stuff that we need to store in the room too. So he's got his hat because he's park ranger, forest ranger, and he's got his backpack and he's got a compass so we need to find creative places to store his stuff so angus has brought all of his things in so backpack forest ranger's hat compass how are we going to do this okay all right so maybe a hat standy kind of thing that we can use we'll put this rod in here and if we slide these down on top we could put the backpack on here nice and then if we put a couple more of these up here we can put one of these with a little inward facing stud on we can put the hat on it on oh, no, a hold on we can't because we need another little stud so that it just sticks out far enough 
There we go. Now we can put the hat on here and all his stuff gets neatly stored away when he comes home. But I don't have anywhere for the compass yet, but I'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, so we'll snug this right in here next to, next to the blanket box in front of the window. And he can actually sit on the blanket box when he's putting his like shoes on, his boots on. He should totally have those big hiking boots, I think. Okay, all right. So I think we're gonna need a chest of drawers to store their socks and undies in and anything else, jammies as well. And on the top here, we can put the compass. That's a clever idea. And we'll put the drawers here. Just pretend that one's full of socks and undies. And this top one has got some of Angus's collection. Here's an ammonite that he found when he was out roaming around doing his rounds. And on the top, I'm just loving making these little planter boxes. They're so cute and they work so well with the aesthetic of Mia's house. That rustic brown, nice and smooth. It looks so cute. And we're going to put some flowers in here. We're going to match the color scheme of everything else. So with the green and with the orange flowers. Uh, we're gonna put, maybe we'll put a taller one next to it. Yeah, the big viney one. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so colorful and cheerful. I love that. Let's put this in over, oh, hold on, that doesn't fit. No, that doesn't fit. It should totally fit. Let's, uh, Let's do some, uh, let's, see, let's take that out. And maybe if we put this back in here, now maybe, no, it's too snug. It's really too squishy in there. Maybe if I move this forward a bit, there might be a bit more room for that backpack because it'll sit in front of the chest of drawers then. It does fit there. Still looks really squishy though. Oh, you know what I could do? I could actually move the bed back one stud. So let's do that, which requires a whole heap of disassembling. But that's okay, it won't take long. Uh, so we'll push this right back up against the, against the wall and we'll move the, move the blanket box. This is not coming up. Why are you not coming up? Come on, I cannot get purchase on that at all. I have to, ah, I can't get it at all. No, uh, okay, maybe. Nope, I tried to convince it to come up that way. We need to take the walls off. Let's try from this angle. No, it has to be from this way, the long way, of course, which means I had to take all the walls off, but that's okay. We can easily put them back on again. We'll just make sure everything is squished down nice and firmly. See, easy as pie. We'll put, <laughs> put, put, put the pictures back on straight because it will totally bug me if they are not on straight. We'll put our four poster bed top back on, put our chest of drawers back in. And now, now we've got a bit more room here for all of Angus's work stuff. There we go. It's not so squishy. That looks so much better. And look, he's got just that bit more room to sit here on the end on the blanket box. So cute. All right. I think that will do for their bedroom. I don't think I could fit anything else in here except for maybe a sneaky little flower over here just on the front, another little plant pot, and I think that it is perfect. So we are going to install this up here. We'll just take her, take Anne and put her on properly. We're going to take this out and put our hinge up here next to the bathroom. So it's like an extension to the house, which we can swing out so we can play with it. Now I actually thought about putting a door here, but that's just going to mean that we can't play with it. So even though their bedroom basically faces directly into the bathroom when you shut it, we're just going to ignore that. Now we need to make a room underneath uh, because otherwise it's going to fall off. So well, that's a good plan. Okay, so we'll disconnect this just for now and tomorrow we will build the room for underneath. Now, I already know what I want to do under here. What do you think should go in the room underneath Mia's parents' bedroom? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and now would be an awesome time if you haven't already done it to click the little notification bell so you don't miss it because tomorrow the renovations continue. So I will see you back here then. Bye.